Hey guys, this is the guy from Shinjuku High. Um, I thought I'd record a quick video of Shiku Metaverse. So for those guys, uh, those who don't know, um, Shiku and Yumi are partners and they've been working together uh, for a while now. Shiku has recently just launched its first public step into showcasing its Metaverse, um, which is really exciting stuff for the IC. Like, uh, till now, r in reality, there hasn't really been that much to do. Um, it's uh, the community, let's just say, bringing the community together has been quite hard. Um, but with Shiku finally making a step into the metaverse, I think um, things are going to really start picking up. Um, so how do you access uh, Shiku metaverse at the moment? You go on to Yumi and click on this. So as part of this, um, I'm going to be giving some feedback as well. Bear in mind, take it with a pinch of salt. This is literally the first ever step for a metaverse and for Shiku outside. There's going to be issues um, which they will work towards like any other project. Um, one of the first ones I wanted to point out was it would be nice if this was interactive. Like sometimes it takes a while for it to load. Um, so it would be nice if people can just drag this, you know, maybe some people's floating around and you can just drag and drop stuff there. Um, I did have some issues loading, uh, before, but after restarting my PC, it's been smooth. The loading has been extremely smooth. Um, okay, so we've just entered. Now you can see here there are some controls. Um, so the, these are, you know, quite standard controls, um, and they're standard for a reason. Um, it's just something that people are really used to. Um, so, you know, it's just, if I close this, WASD to walk around, space to jump. As you can tell, the model and how it sort of reacts to the controls um, and movements is not seamless just yet. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of optimization going on. Uh, to make sure that this is going to be a really good experience. Now, before I go in and explore, I think one of the first things that I really want to do is just look at the the, the options. By the way, if you're not unable to run this in high, uh, then you probably really should invest in a better PC or just upgrading your PC. The metaverse is something that's building on not just ICP, but across many, many spheres. It is going to be one of the core experiences of Web3. So you really don't want to be missing out on that. Um, so if you can afford it, you should really spend some money on getting some good kit so you can experience all of this, you know, this fantastic new industry as it's growing. So <clears throat> there is a microphone option here. Doesn't work, work for me. I'm guessing it's sort of still under development. Now, the other thing I really want to point out was this. I'm guessing relations is going to be like friends, avatars. So this is pretty cool. This is something we at Shinji Kai are really ex excited about. Um, I'm assuming avatars give you access to certain avatars um, that you can role play as if you have certain NFTs. So that's going to be really exciting for us. This is, uh, this is basically one of the, it's, it's actually one of the baselines of what Shinjuku High uh, is based on um, worlds. I think you'll be able to transport to many, many, many worlds. And that's pretty cool and pretty key as well. Um, and finally, room. I, I don't really know what that is. Um, but um, I'm going to click on reset location. And what this does is take me all the way back to the start. I seem to spawn in the first world, probably because people are unable to find their way around maybe easily um but this is the ground floor i love this look would be cool if that was spinning around um but just to the right here i noticed and i didn't notice this at the start but as soon as we spawn just to the right here is shinji Gahai video now one other thing i would say is i can't hear any sound from the game and i'm not sure if that's intentional or not However, I'm sure that'll be worked out at some point soon. But I love this. Look at that. It's almost like a projection of our video. And, you know, uh, we worked very hard on this video. It was all It's all hand done uh, between Mike, who is our uh, head artist, 
and um, the the FX editor and also um, the person who did the effects at the end, uh, Insujuru, I believe. Um, he's been doing a great job with the effects and probably a key person in the team. Um, I, th I think the effects do a lot for us. Now, let's go explore some more. <clears throat> I sort of like that the view is controlled to a to a limit uh, to a level. Um, so I take her a nice little advert for I take her. So there's a platform going up here, up and down. I've got so many ideas on how you can transport from one place to another. There's a platform going here, up and down, uh, where you can go to the second level. But before that, we're just gonna say go take a look at some of the collections. I skulls. Uh, this is a uh, BTC skulls. I don't really know this collection, to be honest. God, I'm going to offend so many people. Someone asked me about this collection. I can't see where it is, but I'm assuming these, is going, these are going to be playable avatars. Um, I've got one of these, ICP Meetup London, and I'm so, so, so happy. Um, I, I'm happy that Yumi actually like showed this. Um, it was a really hype event. We got really drunk. The open chat devs are great to go out with. Absolutely fantastic to go out with. It was probably one of the best nights ever. Herbert was there. He bought everyone burgers. But I bought my burger before he bought everyone burgers. So I was really pissed off. <laughs> but, you know, shit happens. Um, now, <clears throat> what you have here is... The butterflies that you can mint via Unfold VR. Now, I'm a big fan of innovators in this space. There is a lot of doing the same thing over and over. NFT sell, NFT sell. And me personally, you know, tired of it. It's in every chain. I, I think there's not much interest for it or appetite for it either. You, you can tell it's a bear market, right? There's not that many people. So this is the time to be creative. And Unfold VR guys are really at the cutting edge of stuff. These guys are very good workers um, and ethical workers as well at that. And they do some fantastic work. I mean, I mean, do you know how these butterflies are made? You get to choose the body, uh, the wings and all of that stuff. And you get to craft your own NFT and mint it. And that's something, you know, really, really blows my mind. I know it may be simple, may sound simple, but um, who's done it? you tell me this is this is you know this is amazing um and i'm hoping i just cannot wait to see what else they bring to the table um a lot of what they do is more for for creators to build rather than themselves being creators but i think if the unfold vr guys also act as creators to showcase the possibilities i think it would probably help them a lot and they will naturally build a crowd a lot among themselves all right, so we've got here weird Matokos, I call them. I have seen these around. They're pretty cool. Um, and to be honest, they're cooler as 3D objects. I do like how they look. They look quite silly. Um, again, John Ball came up with Matokos, and, you know, he's been doing a fantastic job with poke pots. I'm sure, you know, you'll see poke pots in, in Shiku at some point. Here we go. Look at this. So these are the 3D versions of the pods. This one is in mask form and that looks hype as hell. I hope at some point pods or the masks will be equipables. I really do hope so. I really love how they look. And maybe I can use this as a bomb or something. But there is potential here with district pods and masks. Um, <clears throat> now, these are the creator gloves. So the creator gloves are have the capability to allow you to mint those butterflies that you saw earlier. Um, and I've got to say, I think this is very underrated. So this is Infiniverse. Um, I really love, I think, I think I'm going to say it, sorry, other projects, but this 3D model is super fucking cool. It's super fucking cool. Um, like, I love that he stands on a little world there and he has his little guy on top I, I, I don't know i just aesthetically i just like how this looks and you know how it's different um and it's probably one of my favorite 3d models here 
Um, they have been building a game. I'm not sure how that's going at the moment. I do need to spend some time to take a look, but I just haven't had the chance to. Um, but, you know, I think it's great. Um, but yeah, if you haven't got a creator glove, you know, prob- and you're a metaverse enthusiast, you should probably get one. Um, I'm confident that these guys are going to add some very good value to it. All right. So with that, we're going to go to the next next level. All right. I call this level two. Some might call it level three. And immediately you're greeted by my girl, Val. So for those who are not aware of Val, Val is a very important character in the Shinjuku High universe and world. So you see here, she's got four arms and she's waving hi to you. But <clears throat> those arms are part of her powers. So in the Shinjuku High world, you have a power. Everyone's born with life force. And this life force is called Sheishin. Um, and essentially, she can channel her Sheishin to summon these arms. I'm not sure. So I leave all of the creative stuff to uh, the artists. Um, and the manga writers, um, but I'm fairly sure her arms are supposed to have some sort of ceiling type abilities. But you know, we'll find out later. Look at that ass. This ass was crafted with all of you in mind. All right, Val, I'm gonna have to leave you and go explore the rest of this. Um, but uh, I think holders of Shinjuku High look forward to being able to play as her. Um, I think the model has recently just been complete, um, so I think we can take this stuff to the next level. Now, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure these were dropped by Astrox ME Wallet. Those guys are doing some great... I think those guys are probably one of the most underrated builders. I know Dom talks about them a bit, but you know, I do, I do feel like if they could make some effort into just reaching out to people and getting themselves integrated um, in multiple places, they would uh, they would be very successful. Um, but I think they're taking the approach of, um, you know, people will integrate, we'll just make things available for them. Um, but I don't know, you know, it's, it's a difficult topic. Um, so pods, as an image, I love it. Um, you've seen the 3D version, Dan says. Uh, for those who are not aware of Pods, Pods is dropped by District App, which is a, um, a Web3 social media po- platform that is not funded by VCs. It is ran through um, pure force of will, will to just make, uh, to release an app that's you know decentralized and that's controlled by the users that is censorship censorship resistant. Um, so it is a vision driven app. And they drop these pods, and these pods, this is its original format, and they transform into essentially a mask that you saw downstairs, or, or a helmet. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know these collections that well. I apologize. Um, but they look cool. I think these are like generic art type exhibits. But I mean, how, how can I not recognize a naught? And Monsky spent a good amount of time designing these. He's put his heart and soul into this. Uh, so Monsky is the um, artist behind Noughts, Um And he has a vision and he's been striving and driving to deliver this. I mean, this Nought is freaking massive. And to be honest with you, to be honest with you. So when you first look at a Nought, they look like they're going to be small. They're going to be like a dwarf like this. And I actually really like that this Nought is a giant. I don't really know how the Noughts are going to be as playable characters. Are they going to be giant or are they going to be tiny? I don't know. But regardless, I love it. I I think one of the great things about the Noughts is just, you know, the colour scheme, the quality, pretty much. I've met Natsuki many times and, you know, one thing I can say is he... He has his mind in the right place and he focuses on product and I can always get behind any creator that does that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing Noughts playable on, on Shiku. Um, uh, well, if they're going to be playable on Shiku, I think it's going to be really high. Especially being that big. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to go here. Okay. So here as well. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really know these collections. But now we come to Shinjuku High. Um, so. I think um, this is where you can actually take a look at all our art. 
I, by the way, I love, I love the work we did for our out, and I hate to toot my, our own horn, but you know, Mike, our artist, put a lot of effort into this, a lot of effort, and um, I think it paid off. I think it paid off that we said we'll push it time and again, um, so that we can actually just get this right the first time, and we can make sure that we deliver the best product possible. Um, she's one of my favourites, actually, <laughs> and finally. You know, I want to sort of show you guys the one to my favorite one to one, which is um, this. You know, some might recognize the mask as Kanye. You know, he's he's been going nuts recently, but um, he has been a historic fashion icon and he's led the fashion movement. Um, and our creator, A Fox or Rahi, he's really big into fashion. You can see that here. You know, here with the hoodie. I mean, I would love to own one of these hoodies. Um, but you can see that every single one, uh, it was hand-picked outfits by uh, by A Fox. Um, I, this is one of my absolute favorite outfits as well, and this looks bad ass. Um, so finally, I'm going to show you guys something that you can do in Shiku at the moment. Like you know, this is, remember this is day zero. You guys have got all of these capabilities out already. Um, so something you can do in Shiku, I can click on this. And look at that, and then I can click to Yumi, and it will take me to the marketplace. That's pretty cool i really i didn't even know that was a feature until i clicked on it and then i found out actually that's possible so <clears throat> you know all in all i think this event um has been a success um i'm able to log in i'm able to smoothly do this um w one a, f a few things that you know maybe i would like more now is the ability to actually chat so when i say hi it doesn't actually come up. Uh, I've seen it come up before, but this time it hasn't come up. So there is also the ability to the ability to like do uh, what do you call it? These things, emojis and stuff. But it doesn't come up for me for some reason. <laughs> I love that they have lollies because this is what uh, I love that they have lollies because this is what um, um, this is what some of our NFTs have um but for me it just doesn't seem to work um and they have these like dancers and stuff which also doesn't seem to work for me which which is uh not great I guess um uh, but I have seen it work for other people so it's either I'm doing something wrong or maybe something needs to be fixed but I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna leave the leave this here standing next to Val um i've been having fun so far and remember this is you know even in the link it says mini games so this isn't they are still testing they are still developing this this is going to be far more than what it is as it stands this is just a start you know i want to say congratulations shika team on your first initial step into the outside world uh, i am really excited to see where it goes um she is going to have its own little event, uh, or oh, sorry, Shinjuku High is going to have its own little event with Shiku um, at some point, and I will definitely record and put that up. Um, I'm excited to see how everything's going to go. Um, and with that, I'll stop recording.